Hello chatboxers out there, today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys out there about what I got to on my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the week so far. I hope you guys are all having a lovely week. It is now autumn, I love autumn as you can see I got my nice autumnal jumper on for you guys. Love it, love autumn, I love Halloween, Halloween movies like horror films, Hocus Pocus, I've already watched that about five billion times, love that film, it's probably one of my favourite films to watch around this time of year, pumpkin carving, and all the little trick or treaters come in, give them lots of sweets, and yeah, I just love it, all the orange and yellow leaves, the autumn walks, the autumn colours, it's just great. On Monday, I just rested my foot, watched a little of films, and just chilled, and for tea, we had spaghetti bolognese, it was delicious, and I watched the soap, and the other soap, I wrote my journal, and just did some drawing, and made some comics, and just chilled, and then on Tuesday, my grandma and grandpa came over, and they'd gone to a cake and tea morning at my aunt and uncle's retirement home where they are living and um, it's really nice I'm going to be putting down that soon because it's just down from where my second school was and then they came here and my grandma had won a toy sponge in a cake raffle which is very sweet of her to give to us as she knows how much I love toy sponge cake and then we got ourselves ready and my dad got back from work and he got off the bed because he had a bad head so he didn't come lunch with us and me and my mum and grandma and grandpa went off and had some lunch at the White Horse. Unfortunately they didn't have any ribs which I love as you know I'm normally always getting ribs so I just had a Caesar salad and it was amazing. I think this Caesar salad we might have been homemade because it was the best Caesar salad I've had ever and then I had a Bonatti pie stack which was so old and it got frozen off my mail put it onto my Instagram and stayed on Twitter and said no, I love getting photos of my food. And it looked too good not to pass it off photo because they were so beautifully made and they've changed hands and it's so good at the moment. We got back and we'd popped to the construction site where my grandparents' new house is being built and they look really good so far. They're going to hopefully be moving in by November and going to be living here for a while until they move in or buying a bit more apartment went to the old apartment until their house is ready but it should be good if they come here for a while the more the merrier and then they went off home and I had a bit of my Victoria sponge cake that my grandparents had gone on me and had a cup of milk and watched the Aussie soup and went with my journal and did a drawing and my dad got up and he was just throwing stuff around the house and then for tea, I just had some tuna sandwiches because I did a cook lunch and watched the Aussie and English soaps and watched Holby and Bake Off. And Bake Off was 1920s themed, and one of the contestants did pies but like drew like flapper girls on it, like using icing and stuff. And I was like, how are these people so amazingly talented? They, and they're quite good looking fellas on there. One of them, called David, is gorgeous, and yeah, he's also a very good cook, wouldn't mind him cooking for me. And two people went out last night, which was a bit shocking, I, was, I didn't see that coming. And then my younger brother got back from work, and he'd gone off to the pub, and he got back. My older brother had rugby training, and he got back. My older sister came over to show my mum the specimen that she'd written up and then she went off home and then I went off to bed had some tablets on my foot is feeling a lot better and almost forgot I shan't be doing vlogs after Friday when I vlog about morning group and what I did Thursday because I'm having an operation on Saturday which will mean I'll have to be led on my side I hope I'll have to sit and basically I'm gonna have to be taking it steady for a few weeks and I won't be able to play touch rugby either so that's a bit frustrating. I'm a bit anxious about the operation because I've got to go under local anaesthetic. I've been under anaesthetic since I was young and so I have been wanting this operation for 
months and months and months now, and then when it finally comes, I didn't want it. I know, it's weird. It's because I'm just a bit anxious. I don't care about the operation or the anaesthetic. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous because there's always a risk of anaesthetic, but I will be fine. I've had loads of anaesthetics before. I'm a young, healthy, 22 year old man, and I will be fine. There's nothing to worry about about that. But on the other hand, I'm just stressing out about not being able to sit down, having to be very careful when I go to the toilet, like sitting down on the loo, and how I'm going to get changed, how I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And my mum thought my own dad was like, we're just, we're get to it when we get to it and I was like even if I have had an operation I'm not going in lifts before or after the operation I will struggle down the stairs because I hate lifts never ever going to go in a lift I, nothing ever happened to me in a lift I just I get cross a bit my hands sweat I shake I just don't like them and nothing has happened yet and I'm not risking that chance I'm not getting stuck in a lift and yeah, so just a bit stressed out, but I'm just trying to keep myself busy, not thinking about it. I mean, I've got morning sleep on Friday, so that'll be good. And I will be going there for a while either, because my bathroom is going to have to be bedridden. Um, I just hate, I'm not a very good patient. I just don't like sitting and doing nothing. I will sort of be on the go, doing something or other. And I'm going to have to be led on my side in the living room. Take it at the TV because I normally watch the TV at the end of June, but I won't be able to go out there to watch it because I normally sit down out there unless we get a bed out there, but I'm not sure where we're going to get that from. So I'll be watching my Aussie and UK Six in the living room so my mum and everyone else obviously have to go out the end of June, or I'll just have to take, I'll just have to record them and watch them late at night because so that'll be getting much sleep, unfortunately, with my upper, after my operation. And yeah, so I'm not looking forward to it, it's stressing me out. I was up in a night last night because I had a I had a nightmare and then the fire blew my duvet and it felt like someone touched my my shoulder and I was like oh my god what the hell is that and yeah so I, I woke up it was pitch black and it was like three in the morning so I looked at my phone and I was like what the hell am I doing that so I went to back to bed and then I got up today had a shower and had some toast and a cup of tea my dad had work and then he's gone off to see my dad's brothers for a meeting. To hopefully get my grandma into a care home because her dementia is getting much worse. So they're just trying to talk that out between them and sort it out. And me and my mum watched a bit of a bit of Kate Boss and watched this documentary about the actor that played the King in The King and I, which is one of my favourite musicals. And then I was just listening to a bit of music and we watched Bargain Hunt. I was just skipped to the country and watched Mr. The Murder and Far Brown. And what's the far one of this off Big Surfer, off my Kindle and played on Subway Surfer and Minecraft. Did some arts and crafts and designing and did some drawing. Read some comics and some Vogue magazine articles online off my phone. And listened to a bit of Cardi Minogue and her song Flower. Was seven years old today, so happy birthday to Cardi's song Flower. It's one of my favourite songs of hers. Absolutely love it. And I still can't believe that. I saw her a year ago on the 21st of September. How tired I've been having fun, and I had some cheese and pickle sandwiches and a cup of tea for my lunch, and watched the Aussie soap and some stuff off of court and being so tired that I needed to watch. Then played on a, my Kindle on some games on there. Played on my Bishop doll and it's a doll to doll for Bishop doll for Toffee. Worked on my book. And my younger brother is at work, older brother is at work, and older sister is at work as well. And younger sister is back in uni now, she was down for the weekend. She's gone back up there now, as it's her second year of uni already. I can't believe she's in her second year of uni already. I can't believe it, it only felt like yesterday that I was taking her up there and getting her settled in, and now she's in her second year. And I watched some episodes of Doc 2. Supernatural, Marlon, Waswell, as well as Sci-Fi and Fantasy shows and films. Listen to a bit of Dido, a bit of Anya, and some other singers, and watch some Robert and Ballon and Bannon I love Bannon Callum and the EastEnders. Hashtag Ballon, they are so adorable. I think I don't know what that was. Hashtag. Was it that? I don't know. And yeah, they are just adorable, and I love their things. Apparently, the new family that's coming in to EastEnders, Ben is going to feud with, and I was like, well, this should mess with Ben because he's one of the Mitchells, and he didn't mess with the Mitchells, something like that. 
and I then was just trying to sort of make on Facebook and just put on my Twitter and Facebook and Instagram for a bit and I'm now off to go just watching Neighbours, I watch Go Neighbours, but I haven't watched Neighbours yet so I'm going to finish watching that and then do a bit of dog with dog which is also a troll photography and just stuff like that. I've had some tablets and my foot's feeling a lot better. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to go watch my touch rugby team tomorrow while training and just listen that Saturday. And yeah, it's a shame I would be able to be down on Saturday. Pat my foot, so we weren't going to be playing anyway. I was just going to be watching and I've got my operation Saturday. So, can't watch all play. So, something just obviously didn't want me to play on Saturday. Maybe if I had played, something would have gone wrong or something. So, you never know. But yeah, I hope you guys have all had a lovely week so far. We'll have a lovely rest of your Wednesday and I shall see you soon. We do both. Play very soon. Bye.